Hey, basic here. Today, we're building a workbench with only straight 90 degree cuts using simple tools. To start, we're gonna need 12 two by fours. Take your time picking nice straight pieces. Remember, we don't have any fancy milling machines to straighten out those warped boards. So the quality of your table is almost entirely dependent on the quality of your starting lumber. We're gonna edge glue the tabletop together. I did mine in two sections four boards and three boards, simply because I didn't have any clamps that were big enough to do the whole thing at once. And yeah, I did knock over the camera, but it was fine, don't worry. To glue the two sections together, I used some vice grips to basically attach two clamps together. And it did work, but I don't recommend doing this. Just buy some bigger clamps. They really aren't that expensive. This is the tabletop you can expect without any planing or sanding. And you could call it done right here, and that would be totally fine. After all, it's, it's a workbench. It's going to get beat up anyway, so who cares? However, I did decide to make mine a bit nicer with some manual hand planing. Next, we're going to make the table frame. It should be slightly smaller than the table top. I made mine one inch smaller around each side. It's made with long rails connected by five shorter beams which are evenly spaced. Each joint is constructed with glue and two screws and pre-drilled and countersunk holes. The rear legs are made in three pieces. The gap at the top and middle are both three and a half inches, which is the width of a two by four. I used a scrap of wood as a spacer and I wrapped it in tin foil so the wood glue wouldn't stick to it. The front legs are nearly the same, except no gap in the middle, only the three and a half inch gap at the top. The legs are attached about one foot in from the ends with both glue and screws. The gaps in the legs from earlier are for a long stretcher that's going to go along the back of the table, which is going up against the wall. I didn't put a stretcher on the front because I wanted to keep it open for storage under the table. I cut additional notches for shorter stretchers to connect the front and the back legs. These are pretty hard to cut by hand, so unless you have a table saw or router or some other power tool for cutting these notches, I'd recommend just attaching these short stretchers on the sides of the legs without any notches at all. Don't worry, it'll be more than strong enough, it just won't look quite as clean. I cut the excess off the ends of the stretchers with my Japanese pull saw. Some masking tape will help prevent any damage on the legs. To finish the table, I used a mix of half oil-based polyurethane and half mineral spirits. Now you can use just oil-based polyurethane, but you're more likely to get streaks and imperfections. For the first coat, I applied it with 220 grit sandpaper, which is kind of like wet sanding and helps you get a nice smooth finish. For all the other coats, I just used scraps of an old t-shirt. You can use a paintbrush, a foam roller, anything that's not going to shed as you apply the finish will be perfectly fine. I did three coats on the frame, legs, and underside, and six coats on top. Don't forget to lightly sand between each coat. Because my floor is uneven, I'm going to use these adjustable feet, and I'll throw a link to these below along with everything else that I'm using. To attach the top to the frame, I use these Z fasteners. They allow for the seasonal expansion and contraction of the wood. You don't want to glue or screw the top directly to the frame, or you risk your table essentially ripping itself apart after a few seasons of normal wood movement. Thank you. 
and here's what the finished product looks like. I ended up replacing these screws with some contrasting colored dowels, mostly just for style points. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you think I've earned it, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.